The Strongest Battlegrounds just updated, and there were some pretty huge additions. But along with those additions were a bunch of smaller items. And guys, this update was cluttered with a bunch of different items that got added behind the scenes. So today I'm going to be showcasing the top 10 things that you might have missed in the Strongest Battlegrounds new update. Because you know your boy Zebra has got to keep you guys informed. So without further ado, let's get into the first item on our list, which is the new slash bring command. Now I'm going to join on my phone real quick, and I'm going to showcase to you the two new commands commands that were added in this update. All right, my alt account just joined, and as you can see, it's right there. Now, there's two commands that I can do. The first one is the slash bring command. So if I do slash bring and then the username of the other person, then as you can see, it brings them to me. Then the second item on our list is yet another command. It's the slash go to command. So now, as you can see, I can do slash go to, and it'll bring me to whatever player I input. Now, guys, this is super useful because previously, you had to do this through the settings menu, and it was super non-precise. Like, you couldn't actually, like, bring one specific person or go to one specific person. So this is super useful. And this was not in the initial update log. So most people don't know about this and they never saw it. All right, guys, next up, the third item on our list also has to do with private servers. And so for this one, what you want to do is you want to open up your settings menu. And then under the toggles section right here, you can actually enable no fatigue. Now you might be thinking, what on earth is fatigue? Well, guys, uh, do, do you notice anything different? Look, look, look at the look at the screen. Do, do you notice anything? There, 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 there might be something different on screen right now, guys. Yep, that's right. In case you didn't catch it, the no fatigue disables jump fatigue. So as you can see, I just disabled it. And so now as you can see, as I jump, I'm slowly getting closer and closer to the ground until eventually, as you can see, I'm just barely jumping and eventually I'll I'll be jumping even less. So this is called jump fatigue. And yeah, if I open up the settings and enable no fatigue, then as you can see, I can jump normally again. Here's why this is so useful. People are making obbies because we have the new build commands now, which if you if you haven't seen them, they're, they're the most beautiful, magnificent thing. Go check out my other video for that. But previously, the most annoying thing was when you had to like wait between jumps at an obby. So you just be running and then you, you just like ended up getting jump fatigue fatigue and stuff. It was awful. But now with no fatigue, you don't have to wait. And so now we have no fatigue, no attack. I could have sworn we had no dash too, but I guess not. But yeah, the idea is that they're adding these settings so that people who are creating obbies will be able to use them so that players can parkour easier. W update. All right, guys, next up, this is something that really only affects me and developers and fellow content creators and stuff. But I, I just want to show you guys this because it's so cool. So if I actually go into the cosmetics menu and I go over to titles, as you can see, I now have a custom in-game title and this is bra that's what it's called so the owner gave me a custom title shout out to the owner that's super cool and if you actually look on my phone here as you can see above my head i've got the little bra title which is pretty sick but anyways guys without further ado let's go ahead and move on to something that affects more people which also has to do with build mode and this is actually a new feature to build mode so if we open up build mode and we go over to the place menu and then you click spawn location you can actually change where the players spawn and you can have more multiple spawn locations. Then when you exit build mode, they'll still be here, which is nice because they definitely needed something like this for build mode. And this was not in the initial build mode update. They just added this like a couple hours ago. Also, for those of you who don't know, if you're in build mode and you need to clear things out, just go up to save menu and then clear current. And it'll give you a little terribly written message in the bottom right. Clear! Uh, but yeah, just hit yes on that. And then you can close out of build mode again. All right, guys, next up, number six on our list. We're already over halfway through, which is crazy. Number six is actually a nerf to a Tatsumaki move. So let's go ahead and switch over to Tatsumaki and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm already using Tatsumaki. I'm stupid. But yeah, guys, Stone Coffin has received a nerf. So as you can see now, if I like try and hit a blocking dummy or opponent with Stone Coffin, it's no longer actually going to like completely freeze them and like place and limit them and stuff. Gosh, I'm saying like a lot. I just realized someone count the total number of likes that I've said in this video and put it in the comments. But yeah, as you can see, it does like hardly any damage. Oh my gosh, I'm saying like again. The stone coffin move now does 3% damage when hitting an opponent who is blocking. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of this change just because stone coffin was so annoying to fight against. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the seventh item on our list, which is that there's 72 new emotes. Now, guys, I'm not gonna actually showcase every single one of these emotes because my gosh, it would take me like 30 minutes, but I will be uploading a video pretty soon where I showcase every single emote in the entire game. Probably if that's something that you 
you guys are interested in. So stay tuned for that if you want to see all the new emotes. Because I literally spent like $20 buying them. I swear, I've spent like $50 or $60 just on emotes for this game. Anyways, guys, next up, number seven on our list also has to do with emotes. So if you open up the emote wheel and you hold down on an emote, you'll notice something a little bit different about this list now. Guys, after months of pleading, begging the owner for this update to come out, emotes are finally sorted in alphabetical order. We've been waiting so long. There's so many. It only took like 250 emotes to actually get that. So yeah, guys, we finally got it. And it is such a wonderful update. It seriously is. I can find whatever emote I'm looking for now. W owner for adding that update. Seriously, that was so long awaited. All right, guys, next up, number nine on the list. We're already almost done, but you've gotten 200% smarter just in the span of this video. Number nine is something that I actually already showed in this video, and it's the new cosmetics menu. So as you can see, the cosmetics are just sorted differently. Now, the reason that most people probably don't see this is because like most people just set an aura, maybe set a cape, just leave this stuff enabled, and then never touch the cosmetics menu again. And they would have no clue that this update came out. So if that's you, I got you. Check it out. New cosmetics menu. I think they did a great job on this, and this was a very much needed update. All right, guys. And number 10 on our list has to do with Tatsumaki. Not only just Tatsumaki, but the thing that happened to Tatsumaki in this update. That's right. This is about Tatsumaki's new move. Now, to showcase this, I'm going to have to give myself my ultimate. So here we go. Give Awakening. I'm going to activate my ultimate. Still one of the coolest ultimate activation animations in the entire game. Like, seriously, look at that. Do you notice anything different? Anything at all? It's not the aura. It's not the name of the ultimate. Guys, look at the new move. The new move was renamed from, I believe, Down Slam was the original name. And guys, it has been renamed to Seismic Fist. Still the exact same move as before. It's just got a new name. Oh, also, that's something I wanted to correct from my last video. Seismic Fist does way more damage than I thought it did. You just have to actually hit it correctly. I hit it incorrectly in my last video, and I was like, why does this only do 20% damage? Nope, it does 40% if you hit it correctly. So my bad, my bad. I didn't know. The move was like just out. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys one more bonus item on this list because I'm so nice. And this item that you probably missed is that you forgot to subscribe to my channel. Gotcha there. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, though, if you did enjoy this video, we're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers. So consider subscribing down below. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Hey guys, Seabra from the future here. I also just wanted to say, look at this. Look at this. See that the leaderboards are gone right now. Watch this, okay? They're currently refreshing. This is a new addition to the strongest battleground. So as you can see, if you give these leaderboards just a second, after a while, they're actually gonna, well, you'll see. Any second now it should happen. Um, hello, is it gonna work? Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. As you can see, it raises up out of the ground just like that. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's what's happening with leaderboards. Also, speaking of leaderboards, my man Ryan the Great, like, give him like two more seasons. He's gonna be number one. Bro rose in the last like three or four months and is about to be number one. That's crazy. He grinds more than anyone else I've ever seen. So congrats to him. Anyways, back to future me. Or I guess past me. You know what I mean? Back to the video, not this clip. Okay, bye bye Thank you for watching this far into the video. Seriously, it means a lot to me. And let me know what you think of these things that I covered in this video in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.